Booth Events is an easy to use photo booth platform designed to take your business to the next level. Get started today and run your first event for free with just an email address. The iPad camera is great for capturing beautiful, high quality photos. But what if you want to up your photo booth game and use a DSLR camera? In this video, we'll show you how to impress your guests with high quality photos from your DSLR or mirrorless camera and how to add value to your events by connecting a printer to the app. Booth Events supports most Canon and Nikon DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Your iPad must be running at at least iOS 14.2 to connect a camera. You can find your iOS version in the Settings app. To connect your camera, first make sure your camera has a memory card in it and is set to manual mode. Next, connect your iPad to the camera's USB port. We strongly recommend Apple's USB-C to USB adapter if you have a USB-C iPad or their Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter if you have an iPad with a Lightning port. Now launch the app, open the camera settings, and wait for the camera to automatically connect. If you're using an unpowered adapter, you'll want to use a USB hub to keep your iPad charging while it's connected to your camera. However, some USB hubs do not work with iPads, so if you have any issues, first try a direct connection without any hub. You should also try to use the cable your camera came with if you have it. Your camera needs to be creating JPEG files, and if you have trouble, try formatting the memory card in the camera. If you get stuck, please read our help article on connecting USB cameras. Once connected, your camera will be used by booth events to take photos. Boomerangs and slow-mo shots will be taken using the iPad camera, which can capture more frames per second. If you don't want the iPad used at all, you can turn off the boomerang and slow-mo options in your event settings. It's important that your photo booth is well lit. An advantage of using your camera is that you can connect it to your flash system to capture beautiful, studio-like photos of your guests. If you use a flash and your live view is too dark, please read our help article on Canon Rebel cameras. And there you go. Your DSLR is connected to the Booth Events app. You can now change camera settings like auto exposure, focus mode, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO all from within the Booth Events app. Now that we're taking even more beautiful photos, let's connect a printer. Booth Events can connect to any printer that supports AirPrint, a DNP WPS unit with a connected printer, or a DNP WCM unit with a connected printer. If you have an AirPrint printer or a DNP WCM, select AirPrint. Then find your printer in the list and select it. If you're unable to find your printer, make sure that your iPad and your printer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network or Ethernet connection. If you have a DNP WPS unit, select DNP WPS. The app will try to find the WPS unit on its default IP address. If it's not found there, you'll be prompted to enter the IP address of the WPS unit. You should be able to find this on the screen of the unit. After the unit is found, you'll get a choice of the paper hue selection. Note that four by six means four inch by six inch print media with no cuts, and two by two inch by six inch means four by six inch print media with a cut down the middle producing two identical strips. Next, you need to turn on printing for your event. Open the event, go to the last page of settings and turn on print. You can also configure the maximum number of copies a guest is allowed to print, and the website will track how many prints your guests use in case you charge per print. Now your guests will be able to print their photos with just a touch of a button. At Booth Events, we're looking forward to impressing your clients and being an important part of the growth of your business. Check out our other videos to learn more and get started for free today.